Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to convert an icon to an SVG file on Inkscape. Alright, so once you've downloaded and installed Inkscape, you're going to go to the file menu and import your image or icon. I just selected a palm tree to show you for this video. And I'll zoom in just so you can see it a little bit better. So first you're going to go to path and trace bitmap. Then this screen will show up and there will be a ton of different options um, to change what you want. Honestly, I usually keep it at a brightness cutoff of 0.45 if it's just a black and white icon. Um, I don't really mess around with this too much unless it's a, an image I need to change up a little bit. So then I just click OK and exit out of that screen. And then you can pull apart the path from the image. So now you'll have your original image and then the path that you just traced. And you can see that by looking down below once the image or the path is selected. Also, you can invert the image by going to path again and trace bitmap. And by selecting the invert image box and this will give you an inverted image but in this case I'm not going to use the inverted image so I'm just going to delete that and I'm going to also delete the original icon that I uploaded so now I have my um, traced bitmap into a path and I'm not going to want to keep the Sun so I'm just going to show you how to delete that. So you're going to go up to the node selection tool and all these nodes will come up and you can delete certain nodes that you want removed. So I'm just going to delete that sun and then I'm going to go back up to the selection tool and now it's back to the selected image. Now I want to change the image so that it will just show an outline of the image. So I'm going to go to Object and Fill and Stroke. And I'm going to just make the fill um, not present. So I'm going to put an X on the fill and then I'm going to go to Stroke Paint just so I can see the outline of the object. And I like to change my stroke color to red just because that's the color I use to cut an image on my Glowforge. So as you can see, it is just outlined in red. And that's how it will cut on, the, on my Glowforge. If I wanted a fill on it to engrave this image, I would just change the fill color just because I have a certain color for my fill. I usually use pink, but in this case, I'm just going to show you a fill color of red as well. So this will um, engrave instead of cut the image. And then I'm going to go ahead and just save my icon. And as you can see, um, you could save it as an SVG. It'll automatically come up as an Inkscape SVG, but you can also put it as a plain SVG or select what other, what other format you might want. But in this case, I'm just gonna keep it as an Inkscape SVG and click Save. 
And from there, you'll be able to upload your image, your SVG image to your Glowforge and either cut it or engrave it however you wish. All right, so that was just an easy way to change your PNG image or a bitmap to an SVG image to upload to your Glowforge. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. And if you haven't bought your Glowforge yet, feel free to use my discount code. I'll leave it in the description box below where you can get money off. And thank you for watching.